Hey everybody and welcome back to the third annual Fright Night and welcome to night number 11. We are closing up to Halloween guys. We're having lots of fun with this series as we always do. Stressful but fun. This is the first year that I'm actually going to be reviewing uh, the scary movies, the horror movies that come out within that particular year. So the last three movies are going to be movies that came out, of course, in 2022. You know, I'm having 13 consecutive nights. I was on vacation. So instead of doing like individual reviews for these um, or just talking about them at the end of the month for, you know, my October wrap up i decided to incorporate in here like why not two birds one stone right now fun little thing i actually have seen this movie now three times well three and a half times some of you are probably like really stephanie that many times yes let me just tell you what happened okay so i saw it at work but i was at work so i couldn't really see it so then i ended up seeing it when i got home no not when i got home that's a lie I saw it on the plane ride. Then the half side was when Desiree was getting ready and then she kind of had it playing, so I kind of saw the end of it. And oh, I saw it four times, you guys. And then, <sighs> stupidly, I totally forgot to download another movie for my plane ride back. So then I watched it again. Of course, Marlon Wayans, that's like one of my boyfriends. And I have loved him since like, the Wayans Brothers. Uh, one of my all-time favorite movies is, of course, Don't Be Able to Sauce and Joy, Drinking Juice in the Hood. I still watch some of his movies, even though they might not be all that great, aka Six Tuplets. I have a review on that if you want to check out my thoughts on it overall. But um, when I saw the trailer for this, I was like, okay, this seems like we're going in a really good direction, you know? It doesn't seem like it's going to be totally... Uh, he more kind of like put together it's something that you could actually like enjoy with your family so there is just like a slight bit of cussing um not like a lot and it's not like major cussing i cuss way more than what you would see in the movie uh but just be aware that so this movie is about this family who moves from i don't know where they're from like chicago maybe new york it wasn't a good place y'all so they're coming from the big city and they end up being into this like this small town that's supposed to be like the safest one in town uh, i'm not gonna lie i low-key would like to move here seeing how into halloween they are because that's like awesome like nobody in my neighborhood decorates like well maybe the one in the front they have like a little monster but there's nobody that goes all out i used to decorate but then my foot got destroyed, so I don't decorate anymore. I, that was a lot of money that got lost. Family coming from the big town, uh, coming for a new job. He's like this like science teacher, and he hates Halloween and would never let them decorate, never let them do nothing. So it's kind of ironic how they come into this town and it is just like full on like Halloween everywhere. Like, of course, as the movie progresses, we end up finding out like a little backstory of why he is the way that he is uh but the daughter um actually loves halloween even though she never officially got to experience it because the dad wouldn't allow her to you know like dress up to retreat or anything like that decorate but she's into like paranormal things but the dad just kind of wouldn't let her do it and it's all like science 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 because that is right marlon is a scientist or well, like a science teacher and it's like there's an explanation for everything like science is like will explain everything there's no coincidence there's only science um one of the things though that did kind of irritate me about um that whole thing is like pop quiz if you don't stop with this damn pop quiz so again the movie is really cute it's kind of like a little bit more like spunk than a disney channel film because uh, again it does have that tv 14 rating to it uh but it is you know again like it's family it's, it's, a family will enjoy this um enough and it's not super it's not like one of those cringy cringy movies and really think about it like an old school kind of like halloween-ish kind of deal actually when i was doing my little thing it's not even technically considered a horror it's like a fantasy um comedy movie but you know it's coming out during halloween and it's like halloween literally is happening within the movie so it's gonna be incorporated here <laughs> um in this series this year uh but yeah so it's nothing like super scary except for like this clown scene which i was just like ah i totally got sydney's uh fear for it because i'm not a clown person i'm not about that life whenever we go to haunted houses i may like be walking like a tramp throughout everything but the moment those damn clowns pop up bye -bye. it's a fun little ride you guys officially i haven't even told y'all really what it's about well there's this pumpkin you light up halloween decorations come to life so i guess in that sense if that were to happen at least my neighborhood would be okay because again 
it, it's just my neighbor that has a hollow one. Oh man, but it's like my front neighbor, so like that thing would come to life. It would probably come straight, like this direction. Hopefully, it, like go that, like off to the side. And it's not super like like all over the place. It's not trying really hard. I didn't feel like it was trying really hard. And again, I saw it like four times. I enjoyed it the four times that I watched it, honestly. I mean, it's not something that I'm like, oh yeah, like it's awesome. No, but it's a good time. Before I do give you, you know, my final score, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the last two nights of Fright. So, uh, The Curse of Rich Hollow. I like the whole Halloween aspect of the decorations coming to life and, you know, them trying to figure out how to stop it and, you know, the, the journey that Marlon kind of goes through of, you know, trying to fight his fear. Some of the performances weren't that great. Uh, some of them were a little bit more on a whole other level. Overall, I'm going to give it a medium popcorn. If you've seen The Curse of Bridge Hollow, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Is it just not for you? Are you planning on checking out? Are you going to pass on it? If you're going to pass, it's totally fine. It's not something that you absolutely need to watch, but just know that there's that option there in case you're looking for something you know again just like chill to watch like you just really don't want to like think like really don't have to fully focus and you can still kind of be on your phone and kind of have it in the background so yeah those are my thoughts on this movie and i'll see you guys tomorrow night bye